Greetings gentlemen and ladies, I'm the old school game snob and in today's video we're going to be taking a look at a, a true first person um, camera perspective. So here's what we're going to do. Now we can of course zoom all the way in, we can look around, we can zoom all the way out, and uh, we can, you know, look around some more. Um, so what we're going to basically do first here is uh, pretty simple. All we're going to want to do is attach a spring arm and a camera as a component. So go ahead and add a camera component. Go ahead and add a spring arm. Now for your spring arm, you are going to want to parent this or rather choose the parent socket of your character's head. Right. So just go ahead and hit that. Look for your character's head. And as you can see, we're going to grab the character head spot. Now for the camera, we will parent that or rather child that to the spring arm so that the uh, first, uh, first, so that your camera, basically your camera, um, is uh, controlled by your spring arm. That way we can zoom in and zoom out. Uh, your, your camera exact position, you're going to have to maybe adjust it around a little bit to sort of find where it sits right on the face. Too far back and you'll start seeing through the skull. That's no good. Um, so uh, yeah, just kind of monkey around a little bit until you find the perfect spot there. Uh, I've also scaled my camera down a little bit just for a little bit more precise um, uh, positioning. So that is kind of how you set up your camera. Now in order to set up the zoom, the zoom in and zoom out, very simple, all we're going to need to do is this right here. Um, you're going to bind an event to your mouse scroll you can go ahead and copy some of these. Now we're going to grab our spring arm and drag that component out here. Uh, we are going to get target arm length uh, and then we will multiply times 50. Now this is how quickly the scroller scrolls so you can adjust that to make it scroll faster or slower when you kind of zoom in and zoom out. Um, basically add that axis value of your input axis which of course will be a value of one uh, in your in your in your project settings and I'll quickly show you that in case anybody doesn't know let's see input settings mouse scroll which is one of your axis mappings da -da 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 -da, mouse scroll mouse wheel axis so scale of one so that's what we're adding there and I'm calling mine mouse scroll and then over in the this bit here no this bit here over in this bit here we're going to grab that input access mouse scroll uh, times minus 50 or however fast you want that scroller to happen spring arm component now uh, pull out the target arm length variable from there um, and uh, by default of course you'll probably want to make sure that your target uh, that your spring arm is set to zero 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 it should be by default and of course your camera is kind of positioned where it fits on your character's face um, then just add the multiplied value times the spring arm that's just going to set where it is we're going to limit the minimum distance and the maximum distance you can of course adjust that as you need how far you can zoom out that sort of thing <clears throat> and then basically all we're going to do is set the new target arm length set target arm length um, of the spring arm component so that basically just zooms it in and out all right so you've got that <clears throat> you've also got your camera you've got your everything attached and now the last thing you'll notice is because your camera is attached to your head well it follows your animation around as you can see this is mine following my character's animation around she moves her head she walks around everything starts shaking around now you might want that if you have a subtle animation in my case i have quite a noticeable animation um in order to disable that what we're going to do is we're going to head on over into our spring arm component of our character blueprint and we're going to go to use pawn rotation tick that on and inherit pitch tick that off so if you take those two now you should be able to have a nice smooth camera uh, again you might want to add some camera shake to that if you if you like you might want to adjust that in the animation you might want to adjust that uh, just by artificially creating some camera shake it's really up to you but for me uh, I needed less shaking it was, it was a little bit too much shaking for my uh, for my needs so that is basically uh, that's basically how you do it um, hope you guys have enjoyed this video 
see you in the next one.